Hello, my name is Father Dimitri, and I'm here in Lakeland, Florida. And uh, today we are doing the uh, Blessed are those that mourn, for they shall be comforted. In this verse, in the Sermon on the Mount, uh, we're talking about people that mourn. We're talking about people that are sad, lamenting. But the people that are lamenting and the people that are mourn, it says that they're in the end they're going to find comfort. Often we believe that this mourning relies and talks about uh, the loss of a child or a loved one or something like that along those lines that we would be mourning. Where this may entail part of that, but really it has a little bit of a deeper meaning. A lot of times people lose their faith when they think that God allowed that person to die. But really, it's not anything to do with this type of mourning. The mourning and the context that we are talking about is that the mourning that we go through as Christians, we receive this mourning as a healing comfort. Those of us who believe in the resurrection, we can call upon the name of the Lord and we can be encouraged and strengthened and know that God is with us. But really, the mourning that we got to talk about, and I know that myself, I have felt this numerous times, that I have mourned and wept over the state of the world, all the things that are happening in the state of the world, all the things that uh, are affecting us as a society. Uh, I, there's so many things that I could list off that we could look at for us to mourn. And I don't think I really need to list that off because we all understand as Christians, we see what's going on and we see the decline of what's happening to, to the people of this planet. And God wants us to understand that even though that we mourn over those things, he's not going to allow us to be so overwhelmed with that mourning that we're not going to be able to function. I know there's been times where I've wept and I've cried and I have just bawled over things and my heart is grieved and my heart is hurt so much, but I know that God ultimately is with us. I know that God is telling me not to be afraid or be discouraged. And I know that God is with me wherever I go. My life can be taken away at the at the at just the blink of an eye. And I always have to be prepared for that. I always have to be prepared that any day could be my last. Anything that I say could be the last thing that I say. And we understand that all, and we know that all good things work for good to those who love God, those who have been called according to his purpose. When we mourn, we will be comforted. And because the Lord has told us when he, uh, before he ascended, where we're, we're going to be celebrating next week, the ascension, we all know that when the Lord went away, he told us that he would be with us until the end of time. Time is relative. I mean, what does that mean, that he will be with us until the end of time? Uh, we can think about time as linear here on earth. We can think about time as something that is very, uh, very solid, in fact, that one second turns to a minute, a minute turns into an hour, an hour turns into a day. That time just keeps on going and going and going, but one day that time will stop. While we're here on earth, during that time, we will have God with us, and he will comfort us. Even when we mourn, even when we're sad, he will comfort us. And while we're mourning, it will be a healing thing. It will be a healing property that will make our hearts strengthened and make our hearts become the hearts that we need to deal with what's going to be coming in the future. And when we're comforted, we will have that ultimate comfort and God will show us the way. And when we do draw our last breath, when we find the last moment here on earth, when time itself ends, that as we understand it, we will have a different sort of time. It will be a time that will be an eternity within the kingdom of heaven. I pray that one day I will get to hear the words, well done, good and faithful servant, enter into my rest. Because right now, as I'm mourning and crying and lamenting and weeping, I look for that moment in time where I will find that happiness. I will find that joy where all the tears will be wiped away and all the sorrow will be removed from my life. And I will be in the presence of God always. I will be in his throne room at, at his feet 
listening to his wisdom for the rest of my life. So let's glorify the Lord that even though we mourn, that we will be comforted, and in the end, we will be victorious. We just look for the Lord to come and return and take us home. We glorify and we praise him. Christ is risen.